you are running a very profitable venture called Total Dental Care for uh, with around four clinics. Uh, what prompted you to shut that and uh, start up MyDentist.com? So you know, we were running these four clinics uh, profitably, but then again it was uh, relatively small. So the revenues, when uh, considered, these four clinics were running revenues that were practically 30% of the per clinic revenues that we do right now over uh, the clinics that we have. And uh, the only reason why we adopted to this particular model is because we wanted to grow. And uh, organically it would have taken us eternity to grow from uh, four clinics to what we are today if you were to follow the old model. Yeah. Uh, how is the business model of my dentist different, different from Total Dental Care? Total Dental Care is an independent business where uh, we have clinics that are completely owned by Total Dental Care. There are no partnerships, doctors are on the payrolls except for a few consultants whom we have on revenue share. Whereas, uh, when we go back and check Total Dental Care, Total Dental Care was a model in which uh, each clinic used to work independently and our ownership was only of the clinic and uh, there was a revenue share with the performing doctors and the patients were owned by the doctor. We, were, we used to work like a polyclinic where uh, patients would come, get treated and go and we would get a lease amount for our equipment. So it was not an, uh, it was not a model that was sustainable over a long period of time. And that is why we changed the model and tweaked it to what it is today. In one of the interviews you said that you know you believe in applying the best practices from different industries to your business. So could you please elaborate on what have you learned from each industry and how have you applied to your business? We, when we look at uh, my dentist as a business, it is a blend between healthcare and retail. So we go out and uh, from various industries we try to pick up the best practices that are available. Specifically, specifically from re healthcare and retail. So, for example, uh, under retail, if I was to go out and see FNB food and beverages, we take a lot of inspiration from what uh, Cafe Coffee Day does in order to uh, streamline its operations, in order to make sure that there are best practices being followed across all uh, centers. We uh, also take a lot of inspiration for, from healthcare majors like Fortis in terms of standard operating procedures, etc. We also follow uh, some low value chains like Patsalya where we go out and see what kind of software systems that they use, how they can okay, connect with the patient over a long span. So we've been able to go out and find out uh, models that are similar to us across industries and like try to learn from them rather than reinventing them. In. How did you take everything forward, you know, just from the initial idea? So we are a company that was incubated by a fund called Seed Fund. When we, when we started off, we were, as you said, we were functioning by to, uh, like Total Dental Care and Total Dental Care uh, was working independently. At that point, Seed Fund came on board as an incubator. They incubated us right from the beginning. They helped us grow into a company. They helped us set our operations right. They helped us to brand ourselves. They also helped us to generate great talent and also develop them and uh, develop long-term relations with our media players, our vendors our partners, our doctors and uh, the model has evolved over time so it was not the same. It kept evolving every six months and what you see today was not uh, exactly what was planned three years back. Could you elaborate on what are the changes that you made in terms of you know you were just talking about a lot has changed since inception so could you highlight some of those changes? If I was to list down the major changes, the most important ones, the most important changes that have happened are one in the way we function and our relationship with the doctors. At that time we used to have a revenue share with our doctors. Now we have the doctors on our payroll as employees. So they are directly connected with the company. Another important change we have are in term, is in terms of our systems and processes. We are completely on cloud. We use the best possible technology available in order to integrate all the clinics and have a common backbone that makes us more scalable. Uh, our entire telephony system is on cloud, so you could connect between clinics on a press of a button. We have a back-end marketing team that connects with the clinics, try to generate leads. So uh, we've been able to make the model more, more mature and actually function, actually function like a very integrated, closely linked company uh, where everybody uh, works as a team. Whereas earlier, every clinic was an independent clinic and there was no structure to it. How did the company pick up from the very first clinic and uh, how did it take off from there? So we started our first clinic uh, after, uh, the story was this way, you know, when we had the four clinics that were there from Total Dental Care, 
those four clinics were shut down post our uh, incubation into seed fund uh, because of some analysis uh, which showed us that the locations of our old clinics were not very suitable to the new plan that my dentist wanted to follow so in 2011 january we shut down all our existing clinics and we started afresh with a new clinic in march 2011 post that we been growing very steadily uh, we generated two more rounds of funds from one from seed fund and one from asian healthcare fund we have grown from a company that was at four clinics to today that is at 70 clinics we had eight doctors at that time we now have more than 250 doctors associated with it in addition to that we have 80 more consultants in excess of 300 clinicians in excess of uh, 250 assistants close to 100 receptionists so over and above this company has grown into it's an integrated healthcare major which is uh, trying to provide affordable dental care solutions to everybody take us through through your marketing plans so we do a lot of things in marketing uh, some of the things are we go and uh, do camps at corporates we do a lot of camps in schools we do a lot of camps uh, uh, in the clubs in how uh, housing colonies which provides us a direct linkage with our prospective patients another important activity that we do in terms of marketing is uh, approaching alliances so we have alliances with icici banks employees we have alliances with uh, almost major all major credit card companies we also have alliances with a lot of insurance companies where we provide our services at a discount you know, to a subscriber of an insurance policy so among and we use all possible uh, media and uh, uh, options available to us under the marketing purview to market ourselves for how many services do you offer can you give us some details of the dental services that you offer we provide practically everything that is possible under the purview of dentistry so starting from extractions to simple treatments like scaling polishing to high end treatments like uh, full mouth rehabilitations implant retain dentures laser dentistry orthodontics we provide everything and anything that is available under the field of dentistry under our roof through our uh, in house doctors as well as the team of consultants that we have even in terms of uh, the price point uh, we have treatments that start at 300 rupees uh to those uh, which cost close to 3 and a half to 4 lakhs so so the the gamut of treatments that we have is wide and is complete how many patients do you treat on a monthly basis and what is the average size of transaction it keeps changing from month to month uh, and it it's been increasing so for example in december itself we do we we treat close to 15000 patients but it keeps increasing every month and as far as the uh, treatment cost per uh, patient is concerned that also is not specific i mean it keeps changing it can vary anywhere between um, 1000 to 5500 6000 it's been changing over time so you can never determine what would be the right number how long does it take for uh, typically for one store to break even so it takes somewhere close to 3 to 3 to 6 months so if uh, you're fortunate for a particular store it will be 3 months um, in the worst case scenario 6 to 7 months who are your current competitors and how are you trying to differentiate from them see there are a lot of chains that have developed in india over the last few years some of them being axis dental narayan dental uh, dentistry vasan dental and on the point of differentiation we are different in the segment that we cater to we provide our services at affordable prices but we may make sure that we do that ensuring the highest level of sterilization hygiene and quality of treatment so uh, although our target segment in communication is the middle and the upper middle class we also have uh, patients coming from the upper class uh, from the affluent class coming to us to get their treatment done because of the quality of service that we provide and our quality of service our affordability and our accessibility across a particular city or region is what differentiates us from these chains what have been your key learnings through you know your journey at my dentist so one most important learning that we've had is that uh, we need to understand that this industry has no boundaries there is a large opportunity and uh, uh, so we need to keep evolving this model into something that is more and more adaptable to new geographies and also thereby more scalable 
We want to make sure that the benefits of affordable treatment, the benefits of high quality treatment, the benefits of good sterilization and hygiene are available to as many people as possible in this country and even beyond. And for doing that, uh, we've learned that we need to evolve ourselves in, with processes which are standard, replicable and scalable so that the same model can be used as a rubber stamp and can be pasted across different geographies whenever we enter into that. Could you uh, run us through your future plans? So currently we are right now at 70 clinics. We will close the current financial year at uh, 85 clinics. We want to continue growing from here on. We are currently present in two cities, namely Mumbai and Pune. Here I am assuming that New Mumbai and Thane are a part of Mumbai. We want to now expand into other cities, some satellite towns and make our geographical uh, coverage larger. But having said that, we will continue to take up a city at a time. So you would enter a city, capture that city completely by, by making an entire cluster there and then go to another city. We are targeting to next financial year, that is March 2015 at uh, around 225 clinics. And 216 is where we are targeting close to 400 clinics. At this point, we will be the largest entry chain in Asia.